Um, hey guys, this is uh, Kodraco with my first tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial about some like text tricks and tips you can do, like little effects you can do with your text in GIMP, which is what I use by the way. People didn't know because I'm not really that computer wise, so I can't really get Photoshop cracked. So just open up a new file. Any size it really doesn't matter. Uh, open up text a sample uh, change the color to I'll start with a dark color first sample this is the Davis new font by the way it's like a really popular font so uh, you guys might already know but I really like it um, first little effect I'm going to show you is the uh, gloss text glossy text effect which is a uh, really popular Alright, so you take your elliptical select tool, which is usually up here, to use the second one, and then you uh, make a circle around the area that you want to be glossy, and you move it around to the height you want, maybe you want this much, this much, I don't know, it's your choice, but uh, I'll just move it right here, yeah, kind of like that, and then take your bucket fill tool, and then lower your opacity down to... 20. And then uh, for a darker color like this, you want a white and then just fill it in as you go. Make sure you have your uh, text selected while you do this, or it's just going to make the background like this. Like here, you can see if I press the background and I start doing this, it'll just uh, add like a gloss to the background, which you can do, but it doesn't really look good like that. So make sure you have your sample or your text uh, layer selected and then, uh, that's basically how you do it with that let me show you without the little boxes see it looks like that uh, if you have a white uh, then uh, you can you can't really uh, add like a white gloss to it because it just looks kind of stupid so what I do here's a little trick that I learned a lot of people probably know it but I kind of like doing it like this instead of make, doing it like this making it black with 20 and I make it look like this you see I'd, I actually like it more like this you go to select when you have your uh, little elliptical or your circle around where you want it to be gloss go to select up here and go to invert and take your bucket and then fill it down here you have to use invert or it's, or it's not going to work but you just fill it in down here and then it'll give it this type of look so if you have like text by each other and you make the because you know if you have like a darker text the top of it will be lighter and the bottom will be darker so this is like matches those All right. and then uh, another text effect that I like is uh, this one this is uh, adding a border to your text you uh, let me pick a lighter color for the uh, background so it's easier to see. Alright. And then, uh, to add a border to your text, take your text uh, select tool. Select your text so you see all its, uh, like, you know, little options down here. Scroll all the way to the very bottom and click the Path from Text little button. Uh, open a new layer, the same size and everything. And make sure you drag the layer under your, uh, or, I mean, sometimes you won't be able to drag, just press, put your layer under your text. Right, this is your text, this is a new layer down here. Click your new layer, make sure you have it selected, and go to select from path, right here. Uh, and then, <clears throat> right here you should see the little marching ants around your text. That's good. You want to see that? That's good. And then, um. Go to for data border. Go to select grow. Uh, I kind of want a medium sized border, so I'll add like a three. Go to your bucket fill. Use black. Make sure your opacity is back to 100. So, because you know it looks better that way. Then just add it around. Let me show you without the little ants. And see, it looks like that. It's kind of useful if, like, for example, 
if my background was like uh, if my background was like this color see if my background was like that color you could still see the little letters with the outline and that's still, that's always useful and then uh, last the last little uh, trick I can show you is like a trick that not many people really know about because you know it's not that used but it can be kind of useful if you kind of like things like this it's a really simple because I know you can add it different ways but it's a lot more complex so because I never when I uh, started using G GIMP I never watched any tutorials or anything I just messed around with this for a few days and just learned everything on my own and this little simple uh, 3d effect uh, text 3d text t trick that I learned and so when you have your little uh, text down, you have your text uh, already put down, and you have your text layer right here, right click it and press duplicate layer, and you have the dupl duplicate layer right here, pick uh, this, the new one, which you, you know this one called sample number one, which is the newest one, take your color picker tool, and it's the one with like, you know, right here with all the little colors, select your text, and then it, if you, it's good if you have marching ants all around the text. Uh, <clears throat> switch to black, go to gradient fill, and just make both of them black. It's easier than using bucket. You don't have to click them all. Just drag your gradient from one end to another, and it'll turn all black. And then just so you know where everything is, move this down a little, like down here. And then go to select none so you can remove those little marching ants. And then uh, push and put your new uh, black layer under the text layer. Take your move tool and put it under here. You can really move this anyway. Um, to give it a oh crap. To give it a 3D look like I'm trying to go for. Uh, you kinda want it like this. To line up like the borders and everything, line up everything and then move it a bit to the right. Uh, it usually looks better to the right, but you can do left if that's the look you're looking for. But just line up all the borders. Like, see right here, th these aren't lined up. Just line everything up and move it to the right a little. And it looks like it looks like sort of 3D. It's pretty cool. Like, it's kind of like a simple way of doing it without having to really do much work. And this can also be used to like make like a shadow. Or if you're gonna do shadow, like put it under right here and see how it looks like shadow. Shadows really aren't that dark. So right here, take your uh, stamp. Take your uh, shadow layer, go to your opacity, and put it under. Like, put turn your opacity down so it looks a bit more realistic. See, like something like that. See, that looks like a realistic shadow. And also, uh, for shadows, you could just do something like this. Go to sample, filters, lighten shadow, drop shadow, and then uh, open up the little script view. Uh, I'd take off a lot of resets because I don't really like it opacity keep the same and okay and it'll take a while to add it all and that gives it kind of like the same thing as I just had but it's like kind of blurry at the side so it looks a bit more realistic and you move that around too see and then uh that's really about it if uh I'd really appreciate it if you want any tutorials or anything uh then just let me know in the comments or just you know if you like this or didn't like it tell me why in the comments I'm kind of uh you know that's what what uh, why it took me so long to you know like make a tutorial it was really just because I didn't really know what I wanted to make it on but uh yeah uh that's about it by the way I'll be making a Skype soon since a lot of like you graphics people always use Skype and stuff so that's something and uh it's really just about it guys thanks for watching and uh bye